Alright guys, so we're going to take a look at this device, which is a OBD2 scanner outside in the car, but it's going to be louder, it's going to be a horrible angle, so it's going to be harder to see. So I wanted to give a little bit of information about this unit here inside where you can see, although it's not going to be lit up and powered on at this point because I need the OBD2 port to do so, obviously, I can show you a little bit about it. So this unit has very nice tactile rubber buttons for navigation and it's going to look similar to your phone or your tablet have a bunch of icons and you just navigate using these keys down here and you have obviously some settings you can set up to customize this a color lcd screen which is you know pretty easy to see it's actually a pretty good size and it has a nice rubber feel so you shouldn't really have any you know issues with uh, holding it gripping it and everything and it does have a input here for USB. This is going to be used in order to print data from this. So if you want to print out and save or take it to a mechanic or whatever you need to do, you can do that. Or if you want to update the software that you can get and download for free for this unit, you can do that. And they do include that USB cable along with the device, so you don't have to worry about finding one for yourself. Now it comes packaged in a nice little carrying case, sort of a hard plastic type case, and a little you know, clip that holds it shut and it's nice and padded on the inside so it's going to be nice and protected and then you have this little velcro uh, strap on this side over here to kind of keep your cable in uh, in order and in check it has a very comprehensive user manual it kind of goes through everything you might need so with this you can do there's multiple modes available you have real-time monitoring you can check for different fault codes clear different codes view history with this thing uh, view your uh, error codes right in the system or for some reason if there's not one listed for your particular vehicle of course you can not, uh, you know note that down or view it later and uh, take that information and look that code up and they include a pretty decent uh, size cable here it's a very nice quality it's not super thin it's actually pretty thick and a nice quality rubber it has a really high quality feel to it and you just uh, screw that into the actual unit here plug that into your OBD2 port on a car 96 or newer and it's supposed to work with a variety and I definitely have a challenge for it because the car that I have tends to be problematic. It's a Fiat 500 part, and that car doesn't always show up with all OBD2 readers, so we're going to find out uh, about that, and it does have this little padded piece that goes over top, so when this thing is all packaged up, you can throw it in your car, throw it under the seat, you're going to worry about it getting damaged, jostled around, because it's going to be really well padded, and yeah, it's just, it's simple to use, and it looks to be easy to navigate for I think pretty much everyone because of you know this nice little keypad and everything so this is the JD906 as far as the actual you know model I'm not gonna go through all the different modes I'm not even gonna go through like a huge amount of what it does in the car because it's gonna be loud and it's, it's gonna be hard to see but kinda just briefly go over and look through the menu and just let you see some of the navigation uh, I don't have any codes right now because some of the mods have been removed uh, from the car that were you know, causing some codes, but occasionally it does have it, so it's nice to have one of these and just throw it in the car and have it available, especially if you're into modifying your car. Uh, if you have an older car that's problematic, you might want something like this. And before having you know, options like these, uh, I was using a unit my parents own. It's like $1,200, and this is way more affordable. Anyway no batteries required so that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you like a real quick overview of what's included with it as far as you know the cable the box that it comes in the USB cable the manual which is very very good again um, so yeah that's it as far as this goes other, other than this I want to jump into the car and let you take a look and hopefully see a little bit more and have an idea of what this actually looks like in use and that's pretty much it. You can see what it looks like here, but I'm going to actually show it to you in use a little bit. Okay, so let's jump into the car now. All right, guys, so hopefully my camera will sit here with the vibration. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to show you what we're dealing with here in terms of this OBD2 scanner. So let me go ahead and get that going. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. So you can see that it's got a nice color screen. All 
right, so we got read DTC, clear DTC, live data. So let's see if we can just click over there, click OK. It is processing. So just view all items, please wait. Calculated load, engine coolant, temperature, short-term fuel trim. So yeah, very quick. This thing reads, scans very, very quickly, very easily. Let's go back to the home screen. Nice animations. Actually looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Smog. Processing. Processing. Meal status off. So... Yeah, this thing works really, really well, very easily. Just wanted to be able to show you that. Vehicle info. So that's pretty cool. This actually works better than one of the others that I have. As far as how fast it is. Buttons are very responsive. Has that nice, you know, rubbery type feel to it. So let's see, let's go back and see. You got all your different modes. There's your secondary screen. So engine, print, settings if you wanted to. Your review if you needed to go back in and review. Battery level. So definitely a device that you could toss into your car and have available. I love this screen, uh, the, you know, the color display. It's actually very, very easy for me to see. Pretty good size. Uh, battery voltage looks good. So the only thing that I wished it had was a slightly longer cable. It doesn't need to be much because I can get all the way over into the passenger seat where the camera is sitting so you can see. So not a big deal, but maybe that would be just a little bit better. Um, normal battery level, so very good. I, I don't know what specific things might be, you know, interesting for people to see, but uh, you got your IM readiness, so you got that where you can go through and check the system, make sure everything's uh, kosher in that regard. I, I just don't know what else would be important for you to see, but uh, the fact that I can just look at this, clear any codes, and read any codes. Let's go back. I don't think there's any codes right now. Let me go. Let's see. Read DTC. And the cool thing is, is you know, some of the codes are going to be stored on the system, so it's very easy. Stored. Three. Pending. Permanent. Record. The vehicle has no fault codes. I didn't think it had. I'm not seeing any lights on the dash. Um, have it for a while since I took one of the modifications off this. But um, yeah, I'm just really pleased with this as a whole. I don't know. So let's shut that off. Unplug this. And see, automatically it goes off. So, yeah. Very impressive. It didn't have any issues with this vehicle. Um, I wanted to do that initially just with you watching. So if it had any problems, you would see that there's no editing or changing or, or saying, oh, this works and it doesn't. It actually read the vehicle. You can see like engine temperatures and different coolant temperatures and different information uh, right away without any issue. So that's pretty cool. Um, maybe that would change if there were some actual, you know, DTC codes to read. But this one's clear right now and it won't always be that way. So this will probably just go under the seat. I like that it has the little carrying case, user manual in case there's any issues, questions or whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think this is really worth checking out. Uh, definitely something that you may want to consider and since it works with this car it's probably going to work with the majority of the more common cars uh, this one isn't you know the most common car i don't know if you can see a little scorpion the bar um so anyway 
but that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm going to leave a link below the video if you want to find out more about this. You can click on that, read more about it, and look at the different modes and make sure it, maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. It covers a lot. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. Uh, you really don't need to see all the specifics of this with this car, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.